What you're looking at is the smallpox virus, one of the deadliest pathogens on the planet. For centuries, it did a wonderful job of helping keep the human population in check. But times change, and sometimes Mother Nature needs a hand in improving her creations. Like, say, speeding them up a little bit, making them contagious when they should be quietly incubating in a host, or making them more lethal. I didn't come up with the approach on my own. My friend Vitaly is one of the pioneers in the field, and the idea has been around for years. Genome as data. You see, once we digitized DNA, we made it infinitely mutable. We could do a thousand virtual variations in the time it used to take to grow a one lab grade generation of pathogens. And we could pick the best, most lethal combinations and make them real. That's how you make a killer virus, you see. Mix in genetic code from other diseases and you move the sliders all the way up on lethality and virulence. The goal was a 90% mortality rate. I'm not sure my green poison is gonna quite hit that, but honestly, that's just details. As long as most of humanity goes, the Earth stands a fighting chance. Technically, technology is what's killing the planet. But that's not really the case. It's the greed that drives the technology. But a funny thing happened on the way to $100 genome maps and 3D printed plastic toys. Someone figured out those technologies could be repurposed, modified for the greater good. Me. Now, my virus is going to do what nature's always done. Decide who lives and who dies. And if nature decides I die, then I die. If nothing else, I'll have a lot of company. Natural selection at its finest. Helped along by a little unnatural genetic manipulation. It's all data, really. Life's just a method of processing it. The same way I processed the smallpox genome on my laptop. And who's to say that wasn't the plan all along? If, by some miracle, you survive green poison, then nature's decided you deserve to live. The rest of us shouldn't and won't. Godspeed. I'll see you in hell. Hey, what up, guys? It's your boy, Sec, and we're back playing The Division. Yeah, I know what you guys are going to say. You disappeared. Yeah, I did. And, um... I, I was actually gone for like a whole month, I think a month or two, because um, something bad happened. My grandmother passed away, so I had to take time and help my dad out. And um, yeah, it was kind of sudden. I didn't expect it to happen, but uh, you know, I was, I was really bummed out about it. So, you know, I had to take a little time to process it. And, um, but yeah, anyway, guys, I'm back and... Um, I just want to thank you guys so much for your patience. I want to thank you guys for your love and your support. It really means a lot to me. Even though I was gone, I think some of you actually still, you know, try to keep in touch and everything. So I really appreciate it. I'm okay now. Sure. And um, I hope you guys are doing great. I love you guys. Thank you very much. And um, this game, I think, I don't know, this might probably be the last mission for this game. I'm not sure. But I think this might probably be the final mission for this game. Anyway, this game has been amazing so far. I'm really enjoying the hell out of playing this game. It's fucking awesome. And, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna see. Let's see. Um, yeah, so this is this is the final mission. I'm guessing I'm not, I'm not actually sure about that. But, yeah. I did the, uh... The previous mission, I think, like a month ago. I don't remember how it went, but uh, I'm going to try to catch up and see how, you know, everything has unfolded so far. Anyway, I don't know, but uh, I think the season pass for this game will be open. I don't know if this month or next month. I don't know if you actually get the season pass, but I'm not really sure the game is done. You know, there might still be a couple missions that you have to do, especially for the Dark Zone. 
James, he's looking for somebody. It's really for the dark zone. You can go there, you know, max out in all your equipment and gears and stuff like I try to do time to time. Uh, but yeah, this game holds a lot of, you know, capabilities. Like, you know, there's a lot of stuff you can do. You know, aside from, aside from completing missions and stuff. I mean, aside from the main story that you have to complete, you, you can also do some other s stuff too. So yeah, I'm not again. I don't really want to say this, but I think this game is far from over. Like, active echo gonna beacon come detected. Up with, probably gonna come up with a. Uh, some additional content and stuff like that you know like they do with any game like DLCs and stuff like that so uh, I'm pretty sure to explore and you know do some other stuff for you guys just so you guys are interested and, uh, I love you guys so much what the hell damn it man that was crazy Wait, did I activate the, uh, what's the name? The explosive bullets? I don't think so. So why did he explode? I bet he was about to toss a grenade and I shot it out of his hand. That's what caused the explosion. But anyway guys, yeah, this mission is pretty far. I don't know if you're getting close. But yeah, I'm going to transition to when I actually get there. So hold on tight guys. Okay guys, so I'm right here. The mission should be right around this corner. Let's see, um, how am I supposed to get it? Oh, there you go. Am I supposed to get up there or what? Let's see, leaving mission area. So how do I, let's see. I bet there's some kind of like entrance around here somewhere. I'm thinking they should. Wait. Hey man, hang in there. I don't see anything though. I'm pretty sure this is underground. Like I have to go. Let's see something. I'm gonna try to see. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try going around the back and see if there's some kind of like Just ready for some underground fun. tunnel. Come on, come on. Bring some. What do you honestly think you'll achieve with it? The lockdown is a necessary precaution to control the situation. We have enough to handle as it is. But what are you doing to let people pass through? Most people just want to leave the city to meet with their family. We will reevaluate the relocation plan at some point, but for now, the lockdown holds. Now, Miss, I've got work to do here. You really should stop looking for trouble and make sure your own family is safe. Ah, oh, fuck, damn it. Come on, move. Okay, so I'm actually lost right now because the mission is supposed to be around here, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Let's see, do I have to go up? It says it's right here. Oh, there you go. Dumbass. I've been going about the wrong way. Fucking hell, man. That was a terrible way to start a video. Fuck. I pretty much wasted like 20, 15 minutes trying to find out what I was supposed to do. And the door was just right in front of me. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Anyway, let's go. Investigate on no signal. Okay. Let's replay this echo beacon and let's see who was in here. 
kind of feel like this echo beacon somehow gives you more information about you know the story and everything well, here i am aaron kino the first wave's prodigal son normally i'd do this face to face but i'm not 100 percent sure which way you'll jump you act one way when Ms. Lau is watching, and another way entirely when you're off the leash. That's an interesting contradiction. You see, I think that deep down, you get it. You know, the old rules, laws, governments, those things died on Black Friday. But the feral PMCs, the convicts, the ones smart enough and good enough to take what they need, they'll survive. Me? I'm gonna prosper. Oh, you could too, but you took an oath, right? You got a duty. Those are both ways of saying that your conscience is fucking you. You ask yourself, who has earned a right to tell you what to do? Do you know how many agents died to hold the dark zone just for the brass to give up and put a wall around it? You don't believe me? You should check the place out for yourself. But the people you're working for, they're irrelevant now. Amherst changed how the game is played, and I have got the vision to win. I got Chernenko, I got a DNA printer, and a very interesting recipe book. I'm gonna write my own rules. You should think about getting in on this thing. I'll be seeing you. Is that it? Okay. Agents, the information you found in that lab was the crown jewel. I think we can break this thing now. But we've got some more information. A voice from the grave. Listen to what Amherst has to say. That was it? Wait. Well, yeah, I think that was it. I don't see any other missions on the map. <laughs> Except going to the dark zone to, um, wait, what? Broken cell, go head to head with records and disable the stolen SAM system to secure the Manhattan airspace. That wasn't it. There's there's another mission right here. Okay. I kind of felt like that would be the ending after you know everything that has happened. Cause I remember in the last episode I killed the the boss. I don't remember his name, but I killed the guy and. Um, I think he was like in control of everything that was happening and taking him out of the game pretty much like you know figured it was gonna be the end but I guess not thanks buddy but yeah anyway let's see I'm gonna fast travel over there cuz it's very very far it's pretty far so I'm gonna I'm gonna fast travel to a safe house and then make my way over there so hang out Where did she go? You want from me, madam? Hola, como esta? Hola, konnichiwa. <laughs> okay, this is freaking ridiculous. I'm right here, but I don't know how to get in. Oh, coming soon in a free update. Fucking hell, man. God, I fucking wasted another time trying to figure out what the fuck to do. Oh my god. Well, guys, I'm back at the base, and um, this video is not actually. I don't know if I should upload it for you guys to see, but um, I'm still gonna. But uh, I don't know. I kind of figured 
for a fact that um, the last mission, I mean not the last mission, but uh, the mission that I just did with the unknown signal that I was going to fight a bunch of enemies. I didn't know what I was going to expect, but um, it wasn't anything unusual. It was just me, you know, still investigating, trying to figure out what actually went wrong for the virus to, you know, get exposed and kill everybody and, you know, what the, what the main plan was. Thanks for helping out. What the main plan was, was to actually, you know, destroy everybody in the city. But, um... It wasn't something it wasn't something really different i thought i was gonna be fighting enemies but apparently not so uh, anyway i love you guys and uh it's been crazy i want to thank you guys for the love and the support it really means a lot to me easy does and uh like i said guys there will be a couple of missions appearing on the map anytime soon and uh hopefully the season pass comes out i don't know when it is but uh, i'm gonna find out when it comes out i'm gonna be doing some couple missions for this game and uh any other game that comes out too so i love you guys thank you so much for the patience it really means a lot to me and uh it's your boy sec and until next time this game has been terrific i'll see you guys in the future like the video if you like it and subscribe if you're new it's your boy sec salute Get the freak out of here, man. Where you at? She disappeared. Fuck's sake. Oh, no, that's not her.